My in-studio guest this afternoon is Mike Mizrahi, the author of The Great Chattanooga Bicycle Race. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much. It's great to be here, Tori. Uh, I want to congratulate you on the book, and I want to remind people that we are streaming live now on Facebook. So if you want to see Mike and you want to see uh, the book itself, you can see it right now on Facebook, streaming live. All you have to do is look up KHTS on Facebook and uh, I guess, do uh, boss, do they have to become friends? They just like us? There you go, you just like us. And I think you do already like us. Mike Mizrahi, tell us a, a little bit about yourself and tell us about this uh, very interesting book, The Great Chattanooga Bicycle Race. Yes, um, well, I'm no stranger to Santa Clarita uh, in the valley here. I worked very closely with the Goldmans actually on a project um, for building homes uh, for uh, our soldiers who come back uh, here in the Santa Clarita Valley. have done a lot of work here before I retired. I was with Southern California Gas Company, and I'm a late-in-life author. I was going to say, my, 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 you do a lot of different things. You're, so it started when you retired. Did all this start when you retired? Yeah, it did. From the gas company? Yes, it did. And so you decided, so you help, uh, are you a contractor of sorts, a builder of some sorts, making these homes? Uh, no, we went, we actually worked through Habitat for Humanity uh -huh. uh, to build homes for veterans. Fantastic. Yeah. What a great thing to do. I've, I've heard so much. Uh, Reba, Reba McIntyre is a big uh, proponent of, of uh, that organization and she just, she's thrilled with it. Um, so you've done that. Now you're an author and you have written, you've penned this book, The Great Chattanooga Bicycle Race. Can you tell us just a little bit of what that, that book is about right there? Yeah, I can. Actually, there was a revolution in America in the 1890s. It's a fascinating decade. And uh, while I was kind of web hopping, looking for the next subject for my next book, I came ac across a quote from Susan B. Anthony, you know, the famous suffragette women's rights advocate. Absolutely. Uh, during the 1890s. Mm -hmm. And the quote said, the bicycle has done more to emancipate women than anything else in the world. What? <laughs> Isn't that great? What? No, I had no idea. So, I, you know, I looked further into that and I, you know, asked, you know, a bunch of people, do you, do you know this what happened in the 1890s this with the bicycle? Sense to you? Yeah, exactly. We you stop and think about it, uh, what women were wearing um, at that time were the big, heavy, you know, hooped skirts. Sure. And the bicycle comes along, what we know is the forerunner of the the modern bicycle comes along in around 1888. Everybody catches on to this pastime, and you know, men are riding all over the place, and women want to ride too. So that forces the clothing manufacturers to completely take a new look at the clothes that women wear. That started a huge revolution in the South where this book takes place, uh, riding a bicycle, and riding a bicycle especially in bloomers, like uh, <laughs> some women up north were doing, sure. is a definite no-no, considered scandalous. So uh, that's a lot of what the book uh, is about. Now, the book, so it's based on, uh, now, is this a, a novel of sorts? Is it nonfiction or fiction or a combination? Kind this is of? a historical fiction. It takes place in Chattanooga, which is considered the gateway to the South. And up till 1895, nobody in the South is riding, riding a bicycle, let alone in bloomers. And we have an introverted 19-year-old who goes up to New York to visit a family member, learns how to ride a bicycle, comes back to her hometown, and... Uh, goes through a number of changes herself and, and actually rides in the streets of Chattanooga, uh -oh. which c causes a complete uh -oh. uproar in, <laughs> in the community. And so the book is about what takes place. There's love, there's uh, um, uh, s some, uh, you know... Bit of scandal, apparently. Uh, well, but some, a lot of scandal in the minds of a lot of people. Uh -huh. But she's really a, a young, innocent uh, gal. Uh, but she comes into herself through this story. What on earth? Picture yourself years ago. You're at the gas company. Were you thinking of ever writing anything in your retirement years? Did you say to yourself, you know, when this is all finished... I'm thinking I'm going down that road. Well, actually, Tori, you know what? I thought a lot about it in the intervening years. Life kind of 
didn't get in the way. But heaven's sakes, I'm happily married, you know, for 44 years now. Wow, Ra congratulations Thank on you. that. My goodness. <laughs> Raised two kids, um, had a great career, just, you know, really a full life. But I, I had always wanted to write a book. I'm a trained journalist, and I've since found out that that's a different kind of writing than fiction writing. Um, but life kind of did get in the way in terms of following through on that. Sure. Um, and uh, I wish I'd have started 20 years ago. Absolutely. But you started now. So yeah. I, you will be at uh, uh, the Home and Garden, the KHDS Home and Garden and Emergency Expo show. Yes. yes. Looking and forward to so it. So go see Mike. Uh, check out the book. Uh, if you'd like to see more of Mike, go to his website. It's Mike H. Mizrahi. I think we need to spell that. I will. Mike a H. M I Z R A H I. Dot dot com. com. Very good. Okay, Mike, I told you, you know, when you first came in, I said we like to have a little bit of fun with our guests. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> And we do, at the end of uh, every interview, we do what is called the KHDS Fast Five. And we ask you five questions, but it's, it goes like this. You just oh, say, whatever, gotcha. whatever comes up <laughs> right here is your answer, okay? Are Can you, you give me hints? Absolutely not. Okay. Are you ready? I am. Don't be scared. I'm scared. Be a little scared. I am scared. Okay. <laughs> All right, first question. Here we go, Mike. What is the song that you sing to at the top of, the, of your lungs in the car? Hey Jude. Good one. That's a good one. Back in time, if you could give your younger self one piece of advice, what would that be? Younger, uh, se younger self. Follow your dream. I like that. Look at where your dream came. Yeah. It went right here. Yep. Had a great life, great career, and, and it took you right here. Guilty pleasure, Mike. What is your guilty pleasure that you might be ashamed of actually uh, telling everyone on the on the air? Well, I'm not ashamed of it, actually. Uh, Let's hear it. I'm retired, and I get to take a nap right around 2 o'clock every afternoon. Dude, naps are great. Oh, I love naps. naps. Are, are naps great? <laughs> Come on. A uh, motto or quote that you may live by? Do you have a motto or a quote that you may live by? I yeah. Know, I know there's a quote that started this whole process, clearly, yeah. but do you have one? Yeah, slow down. That's, yeah, I think we, we move live, too we move fast. way too fast. Yeah, smell the roses a couple of times, right? Yep. Um, final question. This is a big one, Mike. You no, ready? No, no, no. <laughs> this is a big one. Final question. Okay. When Hollywood makes your movie, who do you want to star as Mike Mizrahi? Pierce Brosnan. I can see it. Good choice. Very nice. Now, with <laughs> or without. Now, here's the question. He's got an accent. I think he's Scottish. I want to say he's Scottish. Is he Scottish? Okay, but he has an accent. With or without the accent, do you want do you want the Mike uh, Miss Rahi story to be? Well, my wife is Scottish, Ooh. so I'll say with the accent. Let's go for the accent. <laughs> Mike, it's been an absolute pleasure having you in here. We will all see you at the KHDS Home and Garden Show, and uh, good luck with the book. If you want to see more of the book, go to the website, MikeHMizrahi.com. Always a pleasure. You're welcome back anytime. Thank you, Thank Tari. you.